Uh, now, Mel, uh, I, I'm glad we're doing this with Connor because I know Connor has no idea what any of this shit is. So it'd be good to get some raw reactions. But just basically to give you a little bit of background, Mel is this person on Twitter who is very... Uh, she describes herself as a shit poster. Um, and she shit posts a lot about things Vosh, Vosh says on his stream. And she also like criticizes a lot of things that he writes and they got into a fight and then they decided to, uh, she asked to come on his program. Uh, she appeared and it was just like a total mess. Um, and it was one of the, like I watched it this morning and I, I kind of feel like, uh, you should see what some of these people wrote actually is kind of expresses it better than I do. Sure. Vouch versus Mel. yeah, what? The only Mel I know is Mel B. It's just Mel. There's somebody named Mel. Okay. Uh, let's see. Vaj versus Mel just sounded like a toxic relationship on the second listen. The Vaj versus Mel debate isn't anything close to character assassination. Okay. Well, anyway, there's just it looks like it it renewed or something. Uh, clusterfuck Mel. Can't wait for the clusterfuck Mel debate. Mm -hmm. um should i take a cyanide pill and watch the vouch mel debate so you get the idea okay so let's take a look at some of the these are some scenes from the actual debate here okay and, and like i don't know just like i'm not going to try to get into the nitty-gritty of what the two people are arguing about because then you start getting people going who held you up and be like, well, she said this. And you didn't see that she said that. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, he did this. And you're like, this is just high school again. Now I don't know what the fuck I'm being told. Uh, but I just want to show how, like, this is considered discourse. And I don't understand why people, ex like, think this is any kind of discourse sure. at all. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, but people watch this. I watch this for entertainment, apparently. And I don't know why. I think I'd call it painfotainment because this is basically a public stoning of this poor girl. <laughs> yeah, I've watched, uh, I, sometimes I watch like H3 mm -hmm. uh, frenemies type of stuff. So I totally get the YouTube like public stoning type of yeah, show. Yeah, it's definitely painfotainment. So let's check it out. Okay, let's go. Look, I get that consumption's a problem, but. Oh, so uh, this is a tweet that Mel put up that Vosh is now looking at and going to try to get Mel's reaction. Okay, let's go. Look, I get that consumption's a problem, but whether you like it or not, I mean, I want my fucking life. Not, not on board for socialism, it means cutting standard of living to like a third of what it currently is. Oh boy. What's an acceptable amount to cut the living standard down? We shouldn't have to. What is the point of socialism if people's standard of living gets cut down? Look, I, okay, so that was the clip, and you're familiar, so you probably know what I just showed. And then you say, I cannot take white men who yell about socialism means everyone still gets to keep the same standard of living or it isn't socialism, seriously. What about black people or people in the global south who the West profits from? The standard of living is a capitalist concept. Do you want to elaborate on that in any way? Uh, I mean, I'd I just... What did you think of that tweet? Um... I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that kind of stuff where you watch like preachers define certain words and be like, well, it's because the definition is this, which means that they're false. So the whole thing is thrown out just because you're saying that like standard of living is inherently a capitalist belief means that like no one in a socialist country can have a nice standard of living. I don't know. I don't really have much of a response other than that. Kind of. Just yeah. I mean, I think the point I, th I think the point of Mel's uh tweet is to sort of say that like it bothers her that a white man from the united states is so callously like shitting on the idea of his standard of living go going down when his standard of living is on the backs of people in the global south I see what you're saying. Which I think is a legitimate thing to say. I don't think that's an insulting thing to say. And mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you could argue that it's like because she's essentializing him as a white man, uh, that that's the wrong thing to do. But like, I think it's important that she points out him being white to, to express this critique of like white men being like, I don't want my standard of living to drop. I don't want to lose my iPhone when they know that like, there's people in the global South who are like being enslaved to bring that iPhone to you. So, yeah. um, you know, I think that was the response. And I think that's a legitimate critique. 
why don't you ask me like how you how you feel about like degrowth and, and how you feel about what I said? Like, I mean, I'm not going to defend anything that I said on Twitter because it's just it's Twitter. So like, oh, I'm happy here for you to ask me. Um, so first of all, like the... the white men thing is pretty weird. I understand broader like generalized criticisms, but I don't know what that has to do with my argument. Here. Well, I mean, I'm a person of color, so if I say the word white, I think I'm allowed to, right? Like, who cares? I didn't, <laughs> like, say, you're silly. Not, I didn't say you're not allowed legit. to, but it's pretty weird. Why do you think it's weird? I think it's a little weird Why does it for me to make an argument and for people to dismiss it by implying that my whiteness has something to do with the non-validity of that argument. Okay, so let me let me push back on this first one second, and then I would like to get back on the subject, but I do want to say this. So, when... I don't think, see, again, I don't think she was saying, if you're white, whatever your argument is on this subject is wrong. I think she's mm -hmm. saying, this white man gave a wrong view that I, you know, like, it, I, I hate seeing white men you know, presumably in the United States, uh, giving this specific view mm -hmm. of I want my iPhone when it's brown people who have to work to provide it. Right? For sure. But I mean, there's so he, many benefits yeah. you get from being like the most powerful empire in the world. You can't be like everything has to be as easy and as awesome and amazing as it is to be like the most powerful type of person in the most powerful type of country. And if my standard of living drops any more than that, I'm going to throw a fucking fit. Right. I mean, I think he was probably going to talking about, I think he was probably talking for hours and like, was just blah, 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 blah. So it, it's not like he has to be held to everything he says, but it's like, you know, I think she was just critiquing that thing. She said that thing he said. And it's interesting that his response is like, uh, you're you're essentializing me as a white man, but that's not how I interpret what she was actually doing. So he kind of zeroed in on that, like, why is my opinion invalid just for being white? Which I think is just something that's like, it's becoming popular again to be more anti-SJW on the left. And so I just think like people are going a little back. too far in that direction again, but let's mm -hmm. see more. When we're talking about people of color, when we're talking about marginalized folks, when we're talking about anybody who is not living in the Imperial Corp, when we're not talking about um, when, we, when we look at how capitalism and imperialism has impacted the rest of the world um, for the last 400 years, it, no one. When I when I say that this is a white person talking, it's not saying that like Vosh is white. Don't listen to him because he's white. It's that generally like whiteness carries a perspective that is it outweighs any other kind of marginalization. Um, it outweighs all kinds of other factors in the discussion that you're having. Yeah, like I don't think I have any opinions that are invalidated because I'm white. But I do think there are opinions I give sometimes that reveal that I'm white. Hmm. Right? I there's definitely like your where, where you grew up and how you grew up has a big factor in that your upbringing, you know, how you're raised. So like, yeah, especially like if you're from I feel like where we're from. Um, we have a lot of those like northeasterner imperialistic capitalistic views just from the base like work hard you get what you what you work for immediately and i think that there's definitely some whiteness like in imperialism but also like conquering people and subjugating them isn't a white characteristic so like yeah no i agree so with you I think in the context of how he expressed, though, wanting his iPhone, it's him in North America getting his iPhone from brown people in South America. Yeah, for sure. Which is why specifically white is the correct you know, descriptive term. <laughs> to like, I haven't really just where that opinion is coming from. And it's yeah. not wrong to say, like, your opinion is coming from whiteness, as opposed to saying you are white and you cannot have any opinions on anything, which is not what That's I, really I was point, saying. Yeah. And I could say that for personal experience because I know Mel, <laughs> like, I've met Mel once before. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've given opinions to Mel uh, that she has at least listened to or not argued against. So clearly she doesn't think that being white means you can't have an opinion on something. Um, but yeah. continue on. So, so if you're talking not about you dismissing it because I'm white, but it is. No, because your whiteness oh, is, is heavier than any other marginalization that you have. And that's just a fact. What if you're talking about the argument that I made? Why not critique the argument? Why is it? I mean, I can, I can totally critique the argument, but like, that's just the hyperbolic statement that I'm saying. So you wanted to know why I said it. I'm giving you the I'm giving you the reason why I said it and what it means. I think Mel got a little bit pushed into sort of um, doing Vosh's, Vosh's thing during this debate a little bit, which is when things got kind of iffy for her. But like, 
Ultimately, I don't have any problem with the things she tweeted. It's not hyperbolic like, means. Hyperbolic doesn't mean calling a person white in a way that implies that that's in some but, way impugning my ability to make a coherent argument. Do we, also, do we want to go over the definition of hyperbolic? Politics. That's not identity politics. That's intersection. Like, you have to be intersectional when Wait, we're talking the about... The idea that my argument is less valid or that its validity I is in some never, way... Hold on, hold on. Or that my the validity of that argument is in some way determined by my race. It's not. It's is, not about being. It's on, not about wait, being oh, wait, invalid. Oh, no, what you just said that my whiteness weighs on my perspective. Your race can make you have a certain opinion, but your race doesn't automatically mean you'll have a certain opinion. It's like a square is a rhombus, but a rhombus isn't a square. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I think that's the problem. And like I also, I, I've really, I watched this debate on id poll the other day. There was that it was like a IQ debate. It was like really mm -hmm. dumb, and it was like resolved. Identity politics is tearing our country apart, and they couldn't even have a fucking debate because the people who said identity politics was tearing the country apart just accused the left of playing identity politics. And the people who said identity politics wasn't ruining anything just said that it's actually the right wing who uses identity politics uh, for their aims, the fascists and like the white identity politics. Oh yeah, well you use minority identity politics and everyone just accuses everyone. Whenever there's an identity involved now, everyone just goes, you're playing identity politics now. No, no, you're playing you're identity. Now. It's that's all the argument is. Anytime the word identity poli politics pops up, and that's because people forgot what identity politics was. It was a kind of politics that developed at a certain period of time. I I think the 1970s or 80s, somewhere around there, that was like aimed towards like helping minorities get representation in government and in other and in other facets of society, uh, equalizing the playing field for minorities in a predominantly white country. So it's like, you know, not all politics that involve race in some way is automatically identity politics. And, you know, you're confusing like, uh, it's just id poll is like thrown around in all directions. Anyway, if more than any other- There's a little more I wanna show. And you did that so because that influenced my perspective. <laughs> So what you're saying is my race comment. in some way, shape or form influences the validity or at least the thought process behind my takes. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying it's because you are white that influences it. That, that, that's, that is what you're, that is how your perspective is going to come across to like people of color. And so I think people of color are perfectly there's, capable there's, of grappling with already, arguments without impugning me for being white. Dude, Mel's been- There's already a bias there. That, that's all no, I'm trying to point out there. There's always a bias to everyone. This is what lets people- Co-opted right now. Not co-opted, but like sidetracked. Yeah. I mean, cause he's, cause he's just still kind of like, his whiteness is such they a big problem. Get but... away with dismissing arguments because they are non-white. This is the definition of liberal identity politics. You no, give additional not. credence to arguments given by marginalized groups, and it's you take not, wait, Mel, no. and you take validity away from groups no. uh, or arguments made from groups that are privileged. This also is, in addition to being a bad way of determining which arguments are valid, is also on this race thing because mm -hmm. I don't care. I wanted to talk to you about the growth the entire time. Like, oh, don't worry, we only have about a dozen more tweets to get through, and then we can talk about the abstract ideas. In there. Is this a, is this a win for you? Do you feel good about yourself? Every interaction I have with people on your intellectual level is by default a win for me. So why are you saying intellectual level? Because I why think you're you stupid and dishonest. I think the dishonesty hmm. is the worst one, by the way. I, I, so you you hate watch Vosh, is that correct? Well, I I mean I think everyone's out there doing their thing, trying to make their money, whatever. <laughs> but okay. I don't that, hate the guy. Wait, 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 is that how you respond to like a Tommy Lauren clip where you're like, you oh know, hell yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got a job. Oh hell yeah! I mean, I think people are. I think people are shaped by their circumstances and experiences. I don't have a have a vendetta against him specifically. And sometimes I watch him and I agree with him. But I think that sometimes you watch these these kinds of videos. Look at the chat. Like, it's it's full, and you'll see like it's full of just like the most nasty things you can possibly read sometimes, and. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess people shit on Vosh, well, too. Well, first of all, wait, there are a couple million Uyghur Muslims that are currently in the process of being persecuted by the state. But like, look at this chat. Like, like, physically doing? Okay, so we're limiting This is what people watch. I don't know what you do I, feel, I must be a boomer. Like, this is like, blood. how am I anti-Korean if I'm Korean? Wait, how, 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 how am I anti-Korean if I'm Korean? Did I see it? Candace Owens, can we get a round of applause for this wonderful brain in chat? Please. You kidding me right now? Are you are you fucking with me, Mel? So I'm Candace Owens. I'm a liberal. You don't understand. You can't fathom. I'm a red fash. Like, you're just using words, Vosh. Like, look at these uh vosh this is cringe uh you know lamau candace mel uh so that like the, these i don't know like this is supposed to be discourse and at one point like vosh is like you're poisoning the discourse uh and i need to like get you out of the discourse because you're poisoning the discourse and i'm like 
what does this whole shit do? Does this not poison the discourse when you just have people come on and then their chat just like rolls I just, I just, I just, I just, like you know what you're awful horrible things about you yeah and and like you know and then i you look at how they you know how things are the next day mel's been posting all day just like crazy shit that she's been getting from fans of vosh just like calling her all kinds of names and treating her like shit and being like you suck it's like she went on vosh she got she went through that fucking gauntlet give her some credit even if you yeah. didn't agree with her like jesus you have to go the extra mile and like track the person down and then like tweet like you suck i hate you and so that's why I think Vosh is like painful tame it because it's just all these people who get together. Vosh like treats them like shit and is an asshole, and they all like laugh in the chat, and then they go after the person like, and they do crazy shit. Um, this person wrote a a Reddit post or something or or whatever saying that uh, that tanky girl was a mirror image of my abusive ex, and I want to warn people with these traits, <laughs> like. The obsession over it, you know, it's like, yeah. What is the point? Yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm just generally genuinely perplexed as to like what good for the the discourse for the left is there in that kind of pain Um, probably not much, which is why I say, you know, there's the hustle is there, and I respect the hustle, but it just seems a little uh, excessive. Uh, he's very influenced by destiny. So it's all about just like shit talking and, uh, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's not just restricted to Vosh. There's just a lot of people like that and it's, it's not a great place to be on the internet. So. Good.